Hey, what's up? My name is Kate, and today I am back with another Packer review. In this review, I am reviewing two different Packers. It's very close to the same Packer. One is just cut, and the other one is uncut. With these Packers, I'll break down the functionality of each section because it is a three in one. So, first is a Packer, how it functions as an STP, and how it functions and what it's like as using it as a sexual experience tool. Before I show you the Packer, if you did not already know, a Packer is a piece of material usually made out of silicone that one would stick in their pants to create the appearance of a bulge. Many of them have different functions, like for example, the one that I'm about to show you, you can use as, you know, to create that bulge, to be able to stand to pee, and then also to use for sexual purposes. Let me just, that being said, here is the Thinker by Axelum. This is the cut version, and then this is the uncut version. As you can see, very similar, except this one's a tiny bit thicker just because of the uncut look to it. For the purposes of this review, I'm just going to keep the rod attachment placed inside the cut STP because I'll talk about it a little later. It is a pain to get the rod in and out, so it's just going to stay in there for now. <laughs> just a quick thank you to Axlum for sending me these packers so I could give you an honest review. I will link both of these packers in the description below if you decide you'd like to get one for yourself. If you get one of these packers, using my link it helps support me and the channel. So let's start on the packer section, and a little later I will show you what it looks like to also pack with, but for now let's get the close-ups. As you can see, they have a lot of nice realistic looking veins to them. These packers are also like very silky smooth. Of course, you can still feel like the wrinkles of the balls and veins, but it's still like very silky smooth. And because of that, it, even if you like have washed it a bunch of times, um, you still don't need to really add cornstarch to these, which is really nice. You don't have to do that. For close ups, let's start out with the uncut version of the Thinker. If you've seen some of my more recent reviews, you know that I definitely prefer to do the uncut look. Uh, with these ones, I don't really have a preference. I think that, you know, while using it for more of a sexual purpose, or I'm going out and about and using it as an STP, I use this one because it is a lot closer to my skin tone. Speaking of skin tone, there are seven different shades that you can choose from when getting your packer slash STP. With this uncut packer, it does not have any movable skin to it. I'm sure you might have noticed that with these packers, they kind of stick like straight out. And with this one, of course, it makes sense because the rod is in there. But even without the rod in there, it tends to stick out quite a bit. Luckily, it is still like soft enough to where it's not that big of a deal to be able to have it bent down in your underwear. I think it is extremely important when wearing packers like this one that kind of naturally poke out is you're going to either want to wear this with a packing pouch. Um, I recommend using the my pack pouch probably the most um, if you're not going to use like the STP function or wear pretty tight boxer briefs or just briefs. And something that I want to clarify on um, when I say like tight underwear, it should still feel like be able to fit your waist and everything, but it's more like a smaller pouch size that's made so there's less room and chance for your packer to kind of just be like flipping around in your underwear while you're trying to move around especially if you're like trying to pack while you're going to the gym or if you have more of like an active job it it's pretty important it stays in place in just a moment i'm going to show you what it looks like to pack with tighter underwear and then also with the packing pouch I'm going to show you what it looks like with joggers, just the like bold look to it um, in tighter boxer briefs, and then with the packing pouch. If you're going to wear some boxer briefs and not any type of packing pouch or jock strap or anything, uh, you usually just have to pull it up super duper tight, like high up your underwear. So this is why my underwear does look like this, and if you pack with just underwear, you'll definitely relate but here we go this is what it looks like to pack with in just some joggers pretty natural do, 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 do. 
now that the joggers aren't on, you can really see like these are hiked up pretty high, but it keeps the packer in place. So it works out well for me. So this is the packing pouch that I'll be using. This is the My Pack pouch. Um, and you just have my joggers and that's it. Um, slip this in real quick. Okay, here we go. Just all natural. And moves a little bit better as I'm moving, walking around because it has more of a free flow to it. Now that you've seen what it looks like to pack with and how functional the actual packer is, let's talk about how functional the STP component of this STP slash packer actually is. Just because of the angle with the STP, as long as it's like a tighter packing situation, you are totally golden. So when shopping for an STP in general, what I recommend to everybody, especially if you're more starting out using an STP, is find and get an STP that has a little rim around the cup. That way, as you are peeing, you are a lot less likely to have like backflow or spillage um, because it kind of like is a bowl that keeps it in place. The thing about the functionality with this STP in particular is because it is also made for sexual purposes and it has a natural angle that goes like out, even if you're holding it against your body and you're going pee, the angle, at least for me personally with how my anatomy is, uh, it does not work super well. Let me describe to you the best that I can as these are my two legs and just peeing over it, right? My pee tends to like build up towards the back of the cup um, if I ha I'm having it like placed right against me. So if I were using the STP the same way that I use the prints, also by Axlum, my pee would, I end up kind of getting a little bit of like, oh, am I gonna get black backflow? Am I gonna get backflow? Like every time I pee like, uh, gotta hold back. Um, what I needed to do and why this SCP still works like really well for me is I just had to make an adjustment of like how I was holding the STP. This STP doesn't work as well if I'm wearing like, uh, let's say joggers or something that don't have as much like opportunity to change the angle as I'm using it like in public. Like the STP function still works well and with that cup it, it makes it nice. But since the cup is, the cup is still like a good, good size. It is still not like the biggest cup either. Um, that's why once again, the angling is super important. Since the tip of the penis is a little bit harder and takes up a little bit more space in the actual like funnel area, um, is you have to be like pretty careful about squeezing the top at all while you're using it because it will easily just block off any flow completely like it's very easy to allow it to not have as an easy flow keep that in mind as you're using the stp just have a very light light grip around it just for angling that being said though just because i could see why they'd want to make the tip a little bit harder and heftier for the next thing I'm going to be talking about, which is, I guess, part three of this video, the sexual function and the rod of this STP option. So now we're at part three. I'm going to show you more talking about this one because um, once again, they are the same size of shaft. Um, it's literally just like this one's the tiniest bit thicker around the tip just because giving that skin uncut look. So let me just put this aside for now. For this, when it comes to sexual purposes, I already told you about the downfall when it comes to packing because it naturally kind of goes up a little bit more. And the downfall of, I'm trying to use the STP and you have to be a little bit careful with pressure because of the tip. Those two things with the downfall with the packing and the STP functionality makes complete sense on why it's set up for sexual purposes. And trust me, that's coming from someone who has not had bottom surgery and things are already kind of angled down and it's 
it's not a good time. So having something that can be free flowing and go up makes things a lot easier. I absolutely understand, like some people prefer to go bigger when it comes to sexual experiences. They, they want to have more of a, like more shaft, more girth, whatever. And every, everybody's different, especially if like you're having sex with someone and you're using this, and if they prefer something bigger too, like you can figure that out. This is a little less than five inches for the shaft, which I don't know about you, but that is actually something that I prefer, whether I am using it with somebody else or if I'm using this on myself, this still is a little bit of a larger packer when I'm just using it as a packer, like even packed down and squished down. So I think it's a perfect pay, like payoff. Like the size is big, but not too overwhelming um, for the packing part of it. But it still isn't like this crazy huge bulge in my pants because it's not like with the technology that we currently have packers aren't able to go from soft to hard um, so there's no like change in length what you got is what you got now let's talk about the rod actual piece and i wanted to wait till the very end because it like i said before it's a pretty big pain in the butt to be getting in and out of the packer slash stp and that's if i'm already going to be using it for a sexual experience because it slides in a lot easier with lube but if i'm not using lube with like i'm not going to have a sexual experience it's like damn it now there's lube in here <laughs> um but since i'm not let's pull it out as you can see it kind of like it really does fit very well within the packer unlike some of the other like rod insertion things that i've seen from some other companies this has a very soft like cushion to it and um it has like two indents which depending on who you are especially if you haven't gotten a lot of um bottom growth um yet or if ev ever um it's supposed to be able to like be even closer to your body to have that mind body connection. I know that they made a packer in the past, um, like Axel made a packer in the past that kind of had the same type of indent design, but it was just made for packing only, not for like sexual experience as well. The other thing that I want to talk about using this in a sexual circumstance is as you might know, I personally prefer to have dual density toys. So it's a little bit softer on the outside and then harder on the inside. It gives it a lot more of a realistic feeling to it. And luckily um, the rod is soft enough, but not too soft to where you can still have like that uh, dual density feeling to it and the squishiness. Keep in mind, and I say this almost every time when there's like anything sexual involved, and a toy, use water-based lube, especially because this is made out of silicone and silicone and silicone, silicone rubbing together can kind of like wear down the toy. So using water-based lube, whether you're just inserting the rod or using it in a sexual circumstance, just water-based is the way to go. Now that you know about the three aspects of this STP packer, STP functionality, and then sexual functionality, um, here are my all around thoughts. It is actually substantially affordable, especially for finding like a really high quality packer in general, STP in general for this price. But the fact that it is a three in one, very nicely high quality uh, packer combo and it's only $59, I think it is a great deal. Keep in mind that the packer stp like just this packer itself is a 59 and i'm pretty sure you have to buy the rod like separate uh, but just in general like i think this is probably one of the most affordable three in ones that i have seen out there it's not too big for packing and it's not too small to where i can't enjoy like whatever position that i feel like with it in a sexual circumstance in the comment section below, let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see from me, whether it's reviewing different products like these, just let me know a product and I'll see what I can do to get my hands on it. 
or if you want to see any type of tip videos or more transition related videos, just like let me know what you're wanting to check out. Have a great day. Until next time, peace.